Peter Finch. Um, I actually started playing this already. I'm... I thought it would be good to kind of do a reaction, first reaction kind of thing. Um, so I'll play through the first bit I've already played and then from there on it will all be unknown territory. Um, so, we're on a boat. Not much we can do. Uh, before we start, actually, I was interested in this game because it was um, it's by the people that did um, The Unpeed of Swan, and I really like that sort of game, so I was really intrigued when I heard about this, and uh, yeah, I think this is the first time I've pre-ordered a game in... I don't know how long. <laughs> anyway, so, here's Edith, here's her journal. Uh, you react to things with the right trigger button. Yeah. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. So there's not an awful lot to do in this first bit, it's mostly just scenery, uh, and then things like that mailbox there which uh, hint at where the story's going and the exact circumstances that led to the family leaving the house. Um, I haven't uncovered those yet, so I don't think that's a spoiler, if it is I'm spoiling myself. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Here's really pretty here. In her will, my mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. So the thing I discovered by accident on my first playthrough here, um, the plot, well, the, the path divides here. So you can go down this way, which is actually what I did the first time. There are limits to where you can go down here, obviously, because... Ooh. This is actually way further than I thought I could go. I didn't come this way the first time. Hmm. Yeah, the scenery's really pretty and it's nice that they've made it so that you can explore a little bit more of it than you know, just going on the path towards the house. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Where is the house? I mean, I know I just followed the path, I'm just, you know, <coughs> trying to orientate myself. Oh, there it is. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Also, just to say, I've never actually done a let's play before. This is probably this is my first. Um, assuming that this is a let's play, because I think there are rules about what is and is not. But um, <coughs> this is the first time I have recorded myself playing through a game like this. Anyway, so what I was saying about the path where it divides and the thing I discovered by accident. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I've been dreaming about it. Anyway, old Skyrim habit. Uh, my desire to explore everything meant that I got to here and thought I'd double back and see if there was anything interesting along the way. There is a little bit of extra dialogue, I think. Oh,
No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Yeah, we just sold the deer. Anyway, I already got the achievement, so it won't pop. Or it shouldn't do anyway. But basically, yeah, if you um, go one path and then double back along the other one, it's probably easier to take the forest path first because it's a little bit more unstructured. But yeah, if you double back, basically, an achievement will pop for taking both paths. I'm just going to work my way back. There isn't a run function, unfortunately. Maybe there will be later in the game, I don't know. These games tend to have, like, you know, several levels that are basically safe exploration, and then there'll be one that's full of peril. Because Unfinished Swan did it, Flower did it, Journey did it. Anyway, the house. Interesting house. So you can wander around the outsides of the house a little bit as well and give some extra dialogue. Should be good about this dragon. No, it's not here. First time I played there was a bit of dialogue about the dragon in the lake there, but um, I just want to work my way further along the... Um, yeah, I just want to walk all the way along Edie there. I asked Edie once so. about the oh, dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. So you can go up the side of the house or you can go up the stairs. It didn't matter which way you go. There's As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. As a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Now we have a light spot there. Use the key. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Because that would be too easy. And then we have the mailbox. Or the letter. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. So if you pull the left trigger, you can zoom in and look around at things. The, uh, the hand movement is very heavy rain in that sort of um, move the move the right stick in the direction you want your arm to move kind of way. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I don't know about anyone else, but, but I've, I've played the Unfinished Swan a whole bunch of times, so I heard the wind chime there and it just transported me back to Unfinished Swan. 
There's a pole in front here we can look through. The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. Oh, just notice that statue over in the over there. Makes me think of the king statue at the end of Unfinished Swan. I think. I heard something moving around in the garage. I'm not sure why you have to pass in front of the garage twice to get that button dialogue to pop, but uh, anyway, so I stood here for a while the first time I played trying to figure this out. Um, you can't use the door, but you can go in the dog door. Just press forward. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. And we're past the first part of the game. So the way I'm going to do this probably is just do one section at a time, um, depending on time. And um, we'll just see how it goes. The power had been turned off the night we left. Anyway, there's not much to do in the garage. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. And now we're in the house. So I'm going to stop there for this one. And um, when we come back I will explore a little bit more of the house and maybe get the first level done. See you later.